Welcome back. It seems the only certainty in agriculture is the uncertainty that comes with the industry. And the agricultural community had its fair share of curveballs in 2019. The Montana Ag Network gives us a look back at a few of the top stories from 2019. 2019 began with quite a number of uncertainties for Montana farmers and ranchers. In January, President Trump spoke on trade issues at the Farm Bureau Convention in New Orleans. This landmark trade deal will increase exports of wheat from Montana, dairy from Wisconsin, chicken from Georgia, and products from farmers and ranchers all across our country. And the weather, always a dictating force in agriculture. A late summer thunderstorm dropped baseball-sized hail in south central Montana, destroying acres upon acres of crop. We have a lot of time and sweat equity invested in this crop. It's pretty much like having a job and working every day and finding out you're not going to get a paycheck at the end of the year. Following the devastation came the rain and early season snow, which left many producers scrambling to catch up. We're a lot later than we normally are. Uh, the moisture is what it is. It doesn't help any of that stuff to keep going. And then to late September, the National Public Lands Council gathered in Great Falls. Secretary of Interior David Bernhardt was there and sat down with the Montana Ag Network for an exclusive interview. The folks that work uh, the land and um, and raise uh, livestock, uh, particularly those that uh, engage in public land grazing. They're important partners for us. We want to be a good neighbor with you, and uh, we want to manage our lands appropriately. Also in 2019, members of the Montana Farmers Union cast their vote in October, electing Walt Schweitzer as their new president. I feel very honored that this group of members selected me to lead them. Plus, it was a huge milestone for the Montana Farm Bureau, celebrating their centennial convention in Billings. Challenges have, have never been small in our industry, and I hope that as our members look forward to the next hundred years, that they look forward with hope and excitement. And finally, wrapping up the year, Montana's stock growers received some big news during their convention, this being that Congress would pass the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement and that other trade progress has also been made. The Japanese one is the biggest to date. We also are working on finishing the one with the European Union, and we are also working still with China. So what's in store for 2020? Farmers and ranchers remain hopeful that the USMCA agreement will pass in the Senate and that trade will continue to move in a positive direction. For the Montana Egg Network with Russell Nimitz and Lane Nordland, I'm Jason Laird, MTN News.